Hello, welcome to my studio in the house, my workstation, my junk, all the stuff that's supposed to be in the van, but isn't yet, but soon come. I'm talking to y'all, but mostly I'm talking to myself because there's a lot that I need to do. And let me not say there's a lot that I need to do, but there's a lot that I want to do. There's a lot that I've been thinking about. There are things that I've been wanting to accomplish and just for one reason or another, the process of getting there has been slow. There's a couple things that I wanna do today. One is tattoo myself. I don't really know where I want to start, but I just wanted to say hello. Happy New Year. It's 2022. Let's get this shit. <laughs> Based. Can you tell what it is? Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, that's nice. All right. It's as simple as that. I drew what I could very simply, evenly. I feel confident. I'm going to poke this thing out and hopefully it doesn't hurt that bad. It's been a while since I did this. The last one that I did on myself was this leaf on my arm. It's a leaf, it's like an elephant ear leaf that has collected tears and it's like puddled up inside the leaf and then slowly those tears are released again as it gets heavier and heavier and has to release more water. <laughs> yep. Anyways, let me, uh clean this up now that I've touched it again. Clean it and I'm gonna get started. I need to stretch. I tried doing yoga for every day of the month of December. And for the most part, I did pretty good. I'm like, kind of proud of myself with the consistency that I held. Um, but then we went on vacation and I did a little bit of yoga while I was there, but I just, it was hard to kind of keep up. Excuse me, sir. We're filming here. You're moving the camera around. <laughs> All right. Tell everybody you say hello. Say hello. All right, he's staring at me. But we went on vacation, we came back and uh, started work again. And it just got like, all of a sudden again, overwhelming, you know? So now I was, I was put back in a place where I had to choose that, you know? I had to actively choose that. It had become kind of a pattern. It became part of my routine. And because I skipped it while I was traveling, 
now it feels like I have to choose that again. I have to like actively place that into my routine to get a hang of it again. So my body's a little bit stiff and a little bit in pain. So all these little cracks and stuff and stretches that I'm doing, you know, trying to align my body back together. <laughs> but I'm also about to be hunched over tattooing myself. So whatever, I'll get to it. I think I'm stalling. It's all good. confident and I don't know why I was trying to psych myself out in the beginning anyways I knew I'd be able to do this <laughs> I knew it would be good I knew it the pain wouldn't be that bad and I've been wanting to do this and like planning to do this for a while so it's like what was you tripping about is this weird <laughs> for y'all to be watching me tattoo myself me talking to myself while doing it Oh my god. Anyways, how's life going on with y'all? How's your first, what, seven days of the new year been? How've they been? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> my first, whatever, what, seven, eight days? I don't know what today's date is exactly, but it's Saturday. First Saturday of January. And uh, I'm in my studio tattooing myself. I've been back to work for four days. We've got three weeks of four day weeks, which is really nice because we get long weekends. You know? School has been, uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. A lot of art making, a lot of, uh, a lot of art making, a lot of encouraging, a lot of allowing space for free choice, a lot of uh, <laughs> crisis management. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. I feel fresh. I feel like my vacation really helped me come to a place of like learning how to firmly plant my feet to be grounded in any given moment. And so I really, I really enjoyed my time away from home. I really enjoyed my time away from work. I really enjoyed my time with like the new skills I have in a way of like being able to remain present in the moment and like assess all the details and you know take notice of the details um and like really have them infiltrate my mind if that makes sense like being just being present and like taking notice of the tiny things so it was nice and I think I've come back with a different type of energy moving forward for the year and I'm I am always hopeful when I start feeling really good again you know and then there's always that that fear of like impending 
flows, but you know, I feel motivated, I feel positive, I feel confident. And I guess that's all that really matters right now. So I'm taking advantage of this energy and I'm tattooing myself today. <laughs> Who knows what else I'll do today? It's not new year, new me. It's just new year, learning new things, expanding, exploring. Getting to know oneself a little bit better. Exploring the parts of me. <laughs> All right, well, I don't have enough storage in my phone to film any longer with two cameras. So I'm on the iPad today. What's up? Let's get back to this shit. I think what I started talking about was like what I wanted to continue focusing on within my art and um, something like that. But what I was trying to say is that I want to focus a little bit more on doing these stick and poke tattoos, right? Like I've got my day job, but I also want to exercise and, and, and not exercise isn't the word I want to use, but like, I want to utilize all of my other skills. I want to purposefully make time for, for all of the other things that I enjoy a little bit better and like prioritize that rather than always complaining that there isn't enough time, but just, do my best to focus and utilize what I do have to my advantage, you know? And uh, I want to I wanna do more of these. I'll have the summer off, you know? I work in a school, so it's like I get the summer vacation just like everybody else. And that was, you know, that was awesome because that allowed me to go to Colorado and back over the summer, like my first super long trip. It was, it was two weeks long, you know what I mean? It's the longest trip that I've ever been on in the van and it was the farthest I've ever been away from home by myself in the van. So it was like this really awesome experience that was, you know, in a way allowed to me because of my work schedule. And it, it showed me that, okay, there's time both throughout the year and over the summer to do what I want to do. Like I can, I can utilize my time better so that I can actually participate in the things that I want to participate in. And so tattooing is one of them. And I've got this idea to like keep drawing and coming up with cool designs and unique designs and like have them ready to go so I can tattoo over the summer, you know, and just like travel and, and poke people and, you know, hang out and it just be like a cool way of both like kind of working and like practicing this this art process and also traveling around and seeing cool places in a van that I built, you know? I don't know, that sounds like the life. That sounds like something that I'm going to do. What are y'all's plans for uh, the new year? What is it that you want to focus on? You know, what What are you interested in honing in on this year for yourself? I don't want to call it a resolution. It's not a resolution. It's just like a refocusing. What do you want to focus on? <laughs> Somebody commented on one of my last videos, something like, you're train of thought is a little hard to follow but I'm trying <laughs> and I was like 
damn that's a real last comment you know because sometimes i wonder am i making sense when i'm speaking and i know most of the time i am but uh there's some some instances where it's like i've been talking for a long time about a very specific thing and i don't know if my words are concise and clear however this tattoo is concise and clear the sun coming through is nice anyways i feel like i've been all over the place talking in this video but i just wanted to do this to start my day today and uh talk about what my plans are now that we're six seven eight days eight days it's 111 right now and i'm tattooing 555 on my arm did i even talk about the tattoo i didn't even talk about the tattoo i just showed you oh my god 555 555 five, five, five. Those numbers are my angel numbers. And it has always served as a reminder to kind of check in with myself, but also to be prepared for change that is coming. To be prepared for change that is coming, you know, and, and to be open and willing to accept that change. And I've been seeing that number a lot around lately and i uh i wanted to tattoo it on my arm so here it is i think i'm done i think i'm done i think i'm calling it done i'm gonna i'm gonna wipe it down it honestly looks pretty good